Hello, I'm Teresa Hansen, Vice President of Global Content for Clarion Energy. Welcome to this week's edition of Clarion Energy News. Here are the stories. Story number three. California regulators have begun proceedings to consider fines against Pacific Gas and Electric Company for its role in a series of 2017 wildfires. The Commission also ordered PG&E to create a mobile app so the public can report problems such as downed power poles to prevent future disasters. PG&E equipment has been blamed for starting some of California's largest and deadliest recent fires. The utility filed for bankruptcy in January as it faces potentially billions of dollars in liability. PG&E says it will cooperate fully with the investigation and is committed to reducing wildfire risk and helping fire ravaged communities recover. Story number two. For several years, developed countries have talked about phasing out coal-fired power generation, and in many countries, much progress has been made on this effort. But according to a recent industry report, after a decade of promises on carbon reduction, the world's top 20 economies are still spending plenty on securing fossil fuels. The report, which was compiled by the National Resource Defense Council, the International Institute for Sustainable Development, and research firm Oil Change International, reveals that G20 nations are spending nearly $64 billion a year to subsidize coal. China is the world's largest consumer of coal for power generation and industrial purposes. The country spends about $15 billion a year supporting coal production and building coal-fired power plants at home, as well as in other countries, including Turkey, Bangladesh, and Vietnam. The report says India, where hundreds of millions of people still live without regular access to electricity, invest about $10 billion annually to support coal mining and coal power. Story number one. The Massachusetts Department of Public Utilities has issued an order approving long-term contracts for more than 9.5 million megawatt hours of hydropower annually. The New England Clean Energy Connect 100% Hydro Project coordinated the contracts, which are between Hydro-Quebec Energy Services and the state's distribution companies. The contract stemmed from an act relative to energy diversity, which was signed by Massachusetts Governor Charlie Baker in 2016. The Department of Public Utilities says the contracts will enhance reliability, ensure a resilient energy future for the state, and secure progress toward greenhouse gas reduction requirements. This project is the largest procurement of clean energy in Massachusetts history. It will increase the state's electricity supply to nearly half coming from clean energy resources. And speaking of hydropower, I want to remind you that Clarion Energy's HydroVision International is just over two weeks away. The hydropower event, which includes many educational opportunities as well as a large exhibition floor, will occur July 23rd through 25th in Portland, Oregon at the Oregon Convention Center. You can find out all the details and register for the event at hydroevent.com. I hope to see you there. That's it for this week's edition of Clarion Energy News. I'm Teresa Hansen. Thanks for watching.